I'm just going to do some panning today in the old location. Get down in here. That deep crevice I did, again, those of you who follow the channel, that deep bedrock crevice over here around the corner that I did where I pulled out that quarter gram nugget, well, quarter gram picker. I'm gonna go ahead and work above that. I've done a little bit there this year so far. But I'm gonna do some more today. Water's still a bit high. Right down in here. So that crevice, see this bedrock here, is right in there and it goes straight down in. <coughs> and this bedrock Continues obviously up the hill how deep down underneath this stuff. I don't know but there is At one point it's buried now, but up higher on the embankment. We saw bedrock up there So I'm just gonna Work this area up I'm probably just gonna classify a couple buckets and pan it down. I brought my Garrett super sluice so I can pan back fairly quickly. I'll just add material, pan it down so far, add more, pan it down, add more, pan it down. That's my plan for the day. But this, last year, you guys saw the biggest bedrock trap that I did. Boy, this water's high. See that orangish colored rock, tan rock right there? And that big thing, that got pushed down this winter. And that bedrock trap is just right about there. So that thing almost made it and covered that thing for good. And without heavy equipment, that thing isn't getting moved. <laughs> or another great big storm. And I hope if another great big storm moves it, it, it moves it gone but that's going to help contribute gold in there definitely you can actually see the low pressure zone taking place right there so that'll be good all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna get going here it's really windy today but the temperature's not too bad so I'll get back to you if I find much catch you in a bit It is super windy out here today. So I'm keeping my eye on these big trees.
so I have the concentrates from two full buckets, five gallon buckets. And this is what I did in here. I dug that right down and in. I got that big rock out of there and dug a little bit in there, dug back further this way. And I did pan back, quickly pan back the first bucket and there was only two pieces in there but they were, I don't know, a good 30 plus pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and set this camera down and dump that into my other pan and pan it back and see what we get here. Be back with you in a sec. I just can't get over how much, how high this water is right now. There's bedrock right here and that's, that's usually completely out of water and where that rock's sitting, that's out of water too when the water's at the normal level. So it's up. Terry, I told you it was up a good foot. Well, it's more than that. More than that. All right, so I'll get back in a sec here. Eleven pieces. That's about it. I guess that's not thirty plus, about thirty mesh, the biggest one. Uh, but hey, Dan Hurd just uploaded a video. Um, Rich gold ore or something from the blue chip mine and he crushed up a bunch of it and panned it down and only got about four or five pieces himself out of all he did and you know a lot of people like he said they'll start complaining when they don't see gold well here's the thing the reality of gold prospecting is is you don't like he said you don't always find gold so that's just one of those days for me and this is not the private property. I wanted to go up there, but I got a late start, so I decided to come here. And I've always wanted to kind of check this and work this back and see what's going on. Because like I said, that quarter gram picker was down in here and that thing was really chunky. It was definitely load gold, not placer. So, came from somewhere. Uh, you want to see why I keep looking up? That's a big tree. And when that wind blows, all I can think is it coming down or one of the big branches out of it coming down and whacking me in the head. <laughs> no thank you. All right, so I think that's about it for today. Back gets kind of sore panted, so I think I'm going to get out of here.
day. A little shout out to Flower Gold Wizards. I think it was you that uh, I had mentioned why I like coming during high water flow. So I'm gonna get us down there and I'm gonna show you something. This is another deep hole that I wanna get into at some point. So let me, uh, let me hike us down in there and get down on that bedrock and I'll show you what I'm, what I'm looking at. Catch you in a minute. Got us down in here. Didn't fall, that's a good thing. Not yet anyway. These leaves and pine needles and stuff are rather slippery. So, I can see that the water was up to this point this winter. And I know that from other areas on the river looking at stuff on the embankment, looking for stuff wrapped around trees and so on and so forth. Um, that, that came from this here, so that's not. Um, I know during Irene, Hurricane Irene that ripped through here, the water level was up to where I'm at now, if not higher. As a matter of fact, see that tree? And that's at my head level right now. That happened with other trees coming down the river and slamming into it. So the water level was up here during Irene. So I look for stuff like that when the water's not high. And then I'll be looking at pockets. Pockets inside the bedrock. That is something I want to clean out all through here. But the water's high right now. A good foot and a half, two feet. I had told Terry of Center of the Earth Mining it's about a foot high while it's higher than that. But you look see that big rock in the river there and you've got this bedrock wall water's coming in and you can actually see it going that way so that's a nice there's a whirlpool right there so this is a good drop zone so this is something I want to get in underwater it's gonna be a difficult one because even when the water is down there's a current right here so I've got 60 pounds of weight so I should be able to stay down but that's definitely something I want to check out right in here. Maybe even behind that rock. Because there's another, another drop zone there. <coughs> so this is definitely something I want, to, I want to check out. And I just had the sheriff stop and talk to me for a minute. Right in the middle of the road. <laughs> Made traffic go around him. He's a good guy. He lives right near here. His wife is interested in gold prospecting so he might he said he might stop down at some point and see me so that'd be cool it's good to have the sheriff on your side very good to have the sheriff and he's the sheriff not not one of the deputies <laughs> so that's cool and he knows all about me running my gold traps and I told him because he asked me now is it true that you have to have a permit to run a sluice in, in Vermont and I said yep for a sluice, but what on the market is a sluice? The definition of a sluice, the legal definition of a sluice, is something that is long, as in hundreds of feet. So what on the market based on that definition is a sluice? Two, something that has riffles, and something that has a gate to control water flow. Mine is none of the above. And I have it patented as a classifier, not a sluice. So anyway, talking and walking is not working out. Shoo. <laughs> so I will catch you all later. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so and click that bell for notifications. And enjoy. Take care.